this is Sarah from Heirloom Creations and today I'm going to show you a couple tips and tricks for working with our new pattern called Kate's Big Binding. She always says Big Binding so that's how we got the name of it because it is. It's quite large. You can take two pieces of fabric, a yard of each for a nice baby size quilt. Uh, great for charity work. Everything is machine stitched. Um, as you go through all of this, a walking foot's a must and it just turns out so nice and it's a great weight when you actually feel the samples. So come on in and take a look at the finished results. To start off, we actually take the back, press it, or even spray base it to a piece of batting, and then we're going to cut the batting to within three inches from the edge of the fabric. So I'm just going to go around with my rotary cutter and ruler and cut all these edges. I've started by stitching the binding on. This measurement is in the pattern for how big it needs to be. The stitching of a binding normally results in going a quarter inch down to the edge of the fabric and stopping, pulling it out, and taking the fabric back 45 degrees so it's nice and, and even. But the trick for this to create those beautiful mitered corners around the quilt is to instead of bringing this back even with the fabric, is we're gonna bring it back even with the batting. So it's going to have this little nose sticking out. So I'm just going to put just enough and then I'm going to line it up along the edge of our fabric and start stitching from the edge of the binding. After rounding your last corner of the big binding, we're going to overlap our pieces from where we start. We're going to join this with just a straight seam, nothing complicated like a diagonal cut. To find where to cut the extra binding off, overlap it and measure a half inch back from the raw edge. So I've drawn a line, half an inch, and we're just going to cut along that line. And since I started sewing uh, a little bit in from this edge, now I'll be able to come in, open these up, put my right sides together, and stitch them all the way together. For the next to last step, we're going to take the binding and we're going to draw it all the way up to the front side where we're going to be able to see the seam that was stitched earlier from the binding. We want to pull this edge right up to it. And as we do that, the corner will give us a miter. So we just find that edge. Once you've pressed this, you will be ready to then take the front of your quilt. It has a little bit extra. There's about a two inch overlap here. You're going to just lay it all out, slide this underneath, pin it in place, and now you're ready to use a decorative stitch to catch both the front binding, the back binding, and the front of the quilt. You know, in the pattern, it's going to have all different sizes, a little formula that you can do. So whatever size you want this to turn out, you'll know exactly what size to cut the back, what size to cut the front, and how many strips of the new big binding you'll also need to cut.